I'm Conway Gittins reporting from the New York Stock Exchange. Here's what we're watching on the street today. One day after the Dow closed above 43,000 for the first time ever, stocks are struggling to hold gains. Techs are a drag, but financials are mostly higher. Bank of America, the country's second largest bank, topped profit estimates due to strength in its trading unit. Goldman Sachs beat forecasts on strong numbers from investment banking. Cost controls and a slight revenue bump helped Citigroup exceed expectations. Turning to other headlines, Boeing is looking to raise up to $25 billion to bolster its finances as it grapples with a crippling worker strike now in its second month. The airplane maker said it could raise the money through stock or bond offerings spread across three years. Quote, this universal shelf registration provides flexibility for the company to seek a variety of capital options as needed to support the company's balance sheet over a three-year period. The cash infusion would come on top of a new $10 billion line of credit it has received from a collection of banks. Boeing is under pressure to shore up its finances as the walkout by 30,000 machinists grounds business to a halt. S&P Global Ratings warns Boeing's credit rating is in jeopardy as it loses an estimated $1 billion a month. There's also some belt tightening going on. Boeing is planning to lay off 17,000 workers and further delay production on its latest wide-body plane in order to survive the strike. Boeing's troubles, however, began before the strike. Two deadly plane crashes and a door flying off midair delayed production put its safety record under scrutiny and caused the company to start burning through cash. That'll do it for your daily briefing from the New York Stock Exchange. I'm Conway Gittins with The Street.